Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you with Sunday morning chit chat. Um, I'm on my way to church this morning, and y'all know it's been a month of Sunday since I actually physically went into church. So, um, one of the girls that I work with um, is having um, an anniversary, her and her husband, um, church is having anniversary. So, I told her I would come and support her church anniversary. So I'm on my way now to do that. But I came on just to talk a little bit about um, my wedding things. I went back and I looked at my video and I'm like, oh, I just wish I could do something just a tad bit different to these vases because they still look kind of dry and drab. So I went this morning and I actually put um, I put some tulle around it. You know, some of them I had put tulle, like the dark chocolate brown, the color of the wedding. But I went back and put some beige tulle on top of that brown tulle. And it just done wonders for that vase to me. It brought it out tremendously. I'm going to do a video later tonight because there's some other ideals and things that I want to do to the flowers on top. To just add a little bit more color to it so it's not so... Did I can bring the spring out too because brown is kind of a dark drab color so you know and my purpose was I was going to put blue in it to bring out that brown you know but then when the girls didn't want to wear the blue then I was like okay well I guess I, I won't do the blue but to me I think I still could have put some color in my flowers even though they didn't want to. I still could have mixed that Tiffany blue and that brown all in there together. I really could have. But I wonder what's going on with this at the school this morning. There's a lot of cars there. Hmm. On a Sunday. Must be having some kind of event. But anyway, so I got an idea that I'm going to do. And I will let you guys know um, how that come out because I'm going to do a video. I can't do it till I get home and I got to stop by um, another Dollar Tree and try to find some more of the flowers that I want to put a mixture into um, these flowers. And um, the reason why I'm doing Dollar Tree is because I'm trying to keep things on a budget. Okay. I'm trying to stay within a budget. And yeah, so I have a lot of flowers that I had gotten from Michael's, like blue um, daisies. I think I'm going to just put them online and sell them because there's nothing that I really could do with them. I thought about like making some kind of arrangement or something with it, but I don't know. I might use them for the house somewhere. But anyway, I just come on to say that, that I, I just come on because, you know, I've seen some people have watched the video, but I have not seen anybody really make a comment or a suggestion as to what they felt about them or, oh, yeah, I like these or, yeah, that's pretty or you've done a great job. You know, not that you look for people to say stuff all the time, but, you know, I was like, well, maybe there's something I can do better or something like that. But I'm going to show you guys the finished product of what I want today I'm actually going to finish these these um centerpieces because I'm I'm sick of them okay I'm sick of them okay I went to Michael's and I did get some more of the little candles to sit around I'm going to keep doing because the 50% off coupon is good for um It's good throughout the 13th, so I can try to utilize and get some more candles. Like right now, I got some. I just need to get, I needed to count to see how many I need to actually put into my holders, which ones are totally empty. Because y'all know I bought some little votive candle holders from this lady. She cleaned some of them out, but some of them, she said there still was quite a bit of burning life in it. So she didn't take those out, which was fine with me. Um... If I can use them to still burn and get a little burn life, then that's fine as well. And I decided to just do the floating candles on the parents' table and on my bridesmaids' table. Um, do a floating candle for that as well. So, yeah. So, that's what I'm going to do in that situation. 
and yeah I think things are coming along I'm finished with these centerpieces I talked with the girl yesterday about my linens and told her which ones I want and how much I want and yeah so my linens are finally out of the way y'all know I've already got the DJ book I got my cake book the venue the caterers all the big major things are done it's just basically putting it all together I one last thing I do need to do is I want a few um, table toppers like for my cake table I want a um, like a sheer topper so that I can put my um, lights around my table and the sheer topper on top of it so that the lights will illuminate out from underneath the sheer I'm gonna do that and then I want one for the head table as well because I want the lights to illuminate from around the head table so um So yeah, so that's the last thing that I really, not the last thing, but that's what the next thing that I'm looking for. Um, I still have not ordered my napkins. I need to go ahead and order them. I thought that I would find them at the Party Maker Supply Store so I wouldn't have to order and pay shipping. I could just get them from there. And they do have some napkins, but they are... Um, They have some napkins, but those napkins are like, um, they're the wide ones. I wanted the kind of long square ones, but I guess I could take those flat dinner napkins and roll those up and I think I'll get a better price if I just buy the bulk and get it shipped into me bulk wise. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you'll get more napkin and I can spread the napkins out so that they, you know, sometimes people want extra napkins. So I think it's just best to get the bulk ones. So I'm going to order the bulk ones tonight when I go home so that that can be done. And yeah, just get my invitations out. And whew, I ordered the little girls, the flower girls dresses yesterday. Um, they should be back in within a week or so. And the tuxedos, the guys are already going in, getting measured and getting that done. All my girls have their dresses now, except for the one that I'm not even sure if she's got hers or not. Um, you know, there was one that just got X'd out. I'm not fooling with her. And the one that I'm still waiting on, she might get X'd out as well because <laughs> she just might get X'd out because I, I can't. If you don't have your dress, if you don't have the right kind of dress, you just got to go. I'm sorry. Bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, I am... Um, I'm just like... Ugh. Now I got to work on the program. And I've seen the programs that I actually want... They are in Hobby Lobby waiting for another 50% to come so I can get them 50% off and do it that way. I really, because there's like 50 invitations, there's like 50 programs I think in that box. So I'm going to need at least three boxes, probably four because that's 150. I'm inviting 150 people and I just hate to just get that many because I know some people are not even going to care about that dog on program. I hate wasting money on programs, but what do you do? I mean, what do you do? Do you get programs or do you not get programs for the um, people? You know, and the program is just basically going to consist of who the bridesmaids are, <laughs> who the groomsmen's are, the bride and the groom, and the flower girls, and that's it. I mean, do do I want to actually invest that money in programs and print them? I'm not sure. I mean, I know that's the right thing to do. I don't want it to look too cheaply done. But, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll get a program done for everybody. I don't want it to look like, my God, could she be any cheaper? I don't want it to look like that. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead on. I know what you're thinking, Miss Natalie. Stop being chick, 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 chick. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> yeah. So, 
I really want to go ahead on and get my napkins because I really want to go ahead and start wrapping my silverware. I really want to go ahead and start getting that out of the way, get that wrapped and up, which I got time because, you know, we're just into March. I can really start doing silverware in April and wrapping it so that it's not, but, you know, the more I can get out of the way now, the less I got to stress in April and that stuff will be done, you know, and a lot of it, you know, I have basically done all these things myself. Um, my sister was supposed to come over and help me, but she's been busy with working with her grandkids and having the babysitter. It's just too much trouble to have to take that stuff to her house, work on it, and then bring it back to mine. So I just basically been working um, independently, but I've been getting it done. I feel like I'm getting it done now, you know. Because I think the centerpieces were the biggest thing as far as making arrangements. Now, I still got to make a few things for the head table. A flower arrangement to go up front of the bride and groom, like right in the middle of the table. And put my Mr. and Mrs. little signs around it. I got to do that arrangement tonight. Well, I don't know if I'll do it tonight or one day next week I'll get it done. Because one thing I want to finish doing is those centerpieces for the tables and getting that out of my way. So that will probably be tonight. Y'all know everything is shutting down at 10 o'clock. Like, clink, clink. I'm shutting everything down at 10 o'clock because I I <laughs> have got to um I've got to go to, um, I got to watch Walking Dead at 9 o'clock. So, everything's getting shut down at 9. <laughs> so, I got to work diligently after church. Um, I have meatballs and the crock pot cooking. So, all I got to do is go home and make my noodles. And we're going to have meatballs and noodles um, for Sunday dinner. And as far as that is, I got to kind of stay within my calories for that because that's a very high meal. Like it was, everything was pretty bad. Like I got a D minus on the noodles. I got a, um, I want to say the meatballs were even a D. My dinner was very high in calories. And yeah, so I had to keep breakfast light this morning. Breakfast I had um, oatmeal and I had two bananas mashed up in the oatmeal and that was pretty filling and I drank a cup of coffee I probably won't have lunch I'll be brunch dinner will be brunch so it won't be any lunch but you know I left a little extra room in case I need something you know to kind of hold me over after that you know because you know after if you eat okay let's say I'm gonna get out in church I'm gonna plan on maybe about 12 30 ish quarter to one hopefully that's what time the girl said they usually let out so i'm hoping that's the case so um if i get out of church at that time then i can um Then I'm going to be ready to eat around, I'm going to say about 2 o'clock I'll be eating. You know, later on that night I'll be ready to eat something else. But I'll try to snack on like some healthy fruit or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to get off here for now so I can pump some gas. And what happened to the... OMG. They took the... It used to be a, um, God, it used to be a teller machine around here where I could get, I wonder what they did with it. Oh, I was going to get money out for church. Mm. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get off here for now, but I will talk with you guys later, y'all. Remember to do what? Give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you a chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to get it right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.